people. Um, there's a lot of activity going on. Mike Olson was just making the point that he sees the this whole Hadoop movement as incremental value creation. He doesn't see it as a as a as a cannibalization of anything uh, transaction oriented. Do you see it the same way? I do. I really do. I think that. Um, the, the transactional systems uh, remain. There are still many transactional systems, many what I call structured data systems that are outputting structured information and, and inputting that as well. There's so much other information that's coming in that frankly I think was difficult to capture and that's where Hadoop plays a huge role. It's, it's really easy just to place the information on the HDFS or on the Hadoop clusters and then you have all the flexibility of the different types of analytics that you can do with it. And so what Vertica sees is really where those two things come together. You know, we have con connectors to Hadoop, bi-directional. And I think if you really want to harness the value of information, you need all of the information. You need a 360 degree view of that information. That's unstructured, semi-structured, structured data. Yeah, so somebody tweeted out today, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't believe Hadoop gives me a 360 degree view of the information and then, and, and it's it's not like an enterprise data warehouse potentially. So talk about that a little bit and what role you guys play there. Well, I think one of the one of the most important factors for getting information out is the the ecosystem of tools that can connect to any data source, whether it's an enterprise data warehouse or it's Hadoop or it's something else. There is a rich set of ecosystem BI tools, frankly, that everybody's using to ultimately output the visualizations. There's also companies here like Datamir who have some next generation solutions that run on Hadoop. But I think that that's a huge part of it, being able to have the applications that are written to analyze and report the data communicate directly with, with Hadoop. And to a certain extent, that, that sometimes lack of structure on some of this data can create challenges because a lot of those tools were made for SQL as an interface and uh, it's not there, but that's coming. Um, and I always think there's going to be a lot of other sources of data and what we as vendors have to do is make those connection points between all these different pieces of infrastructure seamless so that you can use the best tool for the job but you don't have to go through the pain of integrating everything. And I think that's the direction that uh, we and many others in this space are trying to move towards.